Hey guys, my name is Ryan Dozer, and in this video, I'm going to be covering what I like to call AI marketing essentials. So whether you're a content creator, an entrepreneur, a marketer, or someone who's just curious about AI, this is a perfect guide for you. Now, I don't have time to cover this entire thing in this video, and I do have a link that you can find below this video, where if you want access to this, I cover all of my favorite tools, all of my favorite prompts in more detail. But for the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna be quickly highlighting my favorite favorite AI tools and why I use them. I'm also going to show you a few prompts in action. So be sure to stick around for the entire video. So first I'm going to walk you through some of my favorite AI tools that I use for marketing related tasks all the time. But before I just dive in here, there's some quick tips that I think are super important to mention as most AI creators will conveniently leave, leave these things out to sell you things. And so number one is that 99% of AI tools are white labeled versions of chat GPT that cost more. Now, what exactly do I mean by this, right? So if you go to Google and type in something like AI writing tools, popular AI writing tools, you're going to come across all these tools like Jasper, Copy AI, uh, Write Sonic, WordTune, AnyWord, uh, ScaleNut, Froz. There's so many of these AI writing tools now or AI SaaS tools in general. But foundationally, all of these are white labeled versions of ChatGPT. They have fancy websites, they have fancy buttons, fancy prompts, but they're using GPT 4.0 or other GPT models behind the scenes and upcharging you for the API calls. So I think that's very important that I mention that because most people will not do that. Secondly, AI tools are not a silver bullet. Anyone who claims this is lying. AI tools are great for accomplishing mundane tasks, remixing and repurposing content, but they will not solve all of your problems. And the final point I want to bring up here is I recommend investing at least $20 a month into AI tools, whether it's Claude Pro, ChatGPT Plus. I currently spend $100 a month, if not more at this point on AI tools. It's coming and going, uh, but you're not going to get your desired outputs if you're just trying to mess around with the free versions of all of these tools. So again, I think it's really important that I bring up these quick tips before I just dive in and show you my favorite tools. But now let's explore. So the first AI tool I use for marketing, probably my favorite one right now is Claude. And I do pay for Claude Pro. It's the premium version of Claude for $20 a month. ChatGPT is the number one player right now, but if you've never heard of Claude, this is owned and operated by a company called Anthropic. I have all these links on this guide here, so if you just click this, it'll pop you over to Claude.ai, and you can just start using this for free even if you don't pay for a premium account. Now, the reason I love Claude is you can use what are called projects, and you'll see I have several projects here. Most of these are for my marketing clients. But what I do have a project for, and I'd recommend everyone do this, is I have my own Ryan Dozer AI agent, where you'll see on the right, I'm uploading all sorts of knowledge here to train this AI model to make it sound exactly like me, whether it's through uh, podcast transcriptions, speaking engagements, YouTube transcripts, lists of words and phrases to avoid, my bio, my LinkedIn, training this model to get your desired outputs. And I think that's where a lot of people are dropping the ball with AI is they're just going to the main screen here and just typing in prompts, shotgunning it, hoping for the best response without setting instructions or parameters. So I use Claude mostly for content creation, remixing, repurposing, ideation. Those are the main things. I've heard it's really good for code. I'm not a developer. I'm not technical like that. But those are just some of the key things that I use Claude for. So my second favorite AI tool for marketing won't come as a surprise to some as it's ChatGPT Plus. So I do pay for both the premium version of ChatGPT and Claude, $20 a month for each. And I do like to mix and match the outputs that I get for various tasks. Now, ChatGPT is probably one of the most versatile AI tools right now. You can use it for ideation, summarization, content creation, content repurposing. You can generate images with Dolly 3. You can browse the web in real time. You can also use what's called advanced voice mode. This is a recent feature that came out about a month ago where on your phone now you have an AI voice assistant. So you can use that for real-time language translation. You can use that for sales role plays and so many other use cases that you can think of. So that's the difference between ChatGPT Plus and Claude is that ChatGPT Plus it can browse the web in real time, it can generate AI images, and it does have that advanced voice mode. Now, you may be wondering, well, why did I rank Claude higher? I actually like the outputs of Claude 3.5 Sonnet when it comes to content creation versus what you get with what's called GPT-4.0. That is ChatGPT's most advanced model. 
And so here you can do what's called custom GPT, similar to Claude Projects. Again, I have my own Ryan Dozer AI agent. So whether I wanna you know, generate an SEO optimized blog post, help me write a LinkedIn post or other social media posts or other forms of short form copy, email newsletter, right? Help me respond to PR questions from reporters that I'll get all the time. You can use this for almost anything inside a custom GPT. So I'm gonna stop rambling here about ChatGPT. I have several videos, several tutorials that go over this tool in more detail. But again, this and Claude Pro are my top two tools for marketing. There's no doubt about that. So I'm gonna try to go through the rest of these AI tools very quickly. Now, if you're into creating SEO optimized blog posts at scale, my go-to tool for this is called SEO Writing AI. I'll leave links to all of these tools below this video that you guys can access. And so SEO Writing AI, I actually go down, had to go down several rabbit holes in different forums as they don't really market themselves compared to the other tools. And the only reason I recommend them and feel comfortable doing so is that for under $20 a month, you actually get access to a combination of both Claude and GPT models. And they also have all sorts of parameters here that you can do. And I, I've had very good results with these outputs in terms of ranking high on Google for various long tail keywords. So if you're into creating SEO optimized blog posts at scale with AI, I would look no further than SEO writing AI. So the next AI tool that I find myself using a lot more recently is called Perplexity. If you've never heard of Perplexity, this is an AI powered search engine. They're looking to compete with the big boys like Google. And in the short term, this is an excellent tool for research. So if you're doing anything related to keyword research, for instance, or want to do market research on a particular industry, this is a great place to do that. And this is what the interface looks like. If you search for something like best AI tools for marketing using what's called the pro search, it lists out all the different sources and images, videos, and then it gives you the answer here in this digestible format, and it links to all the references right here that it's getting it from. I like the related option down here. You can ask it follow-ups. Just a really awesome AI-powered search engine that I would recommend you use for anything that pertains to research. Another AI tool that I rely heavily on is called Opus Clip. And you may have heard of this one by now, but what Opus Clip does is it takes long form videos and uses AI to chop those up into viral short clips that you can repurpose and post on other platforms like YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, TikTok, LinkedIn, Twitter, et cetera, et cetera. And this is my dashboard right here. I do have a podcast. And so every podcast episode, I'll drop into Opus Clip and it'll create these clips and not only goes through the entire video finds the most viral moments that it thinks will do best on social media. It generates an AI title. It generates an AI description. It automatically formats it for vertical optimized for mobile. It adds engaging sub engaging subtitles. Excuse me. You can auto publish this on social channels. So you'll see here, if I come over to the calendar, I have all these social media posts scheduled out on my relevant platforms right inside Opus Clip. So again, just a really, really good way to streamline your video content is using an AI powered tool like Opus Clip. So another useful AI tool that's burst onto the scene lately is called Notebook LM. This is an AI powered research assistant from Google. Really what this one is best at is for research and also simplifying and understanding complex topics. You can also generate AI podcasts. That's the reason for this tool blowing up here recently. So if you go to Notebook LM, it's completely free to use. This is what the interface looks like and you can upload up to 50 sources. So let's say you wanna learn what ChatGPT is where well, you can find a Wikipedia article, you can find YouTube YouTube videos, you can upload PDFs or just straight text documents. And then you can click load to generate an AI powered podcast based on the sources that you upload. You can generate a briefing doc, study guide, FAQ, et cetera, et cetera. You can start typing with it down here, but I'll let you guys explore that in the meantime. But again, Notebook LM, really a great AI tool that you can use for various tasks. Now, another useful AI tool if you're in the marketing agency world or you deal with clients is called Fireflies AI. This is an AI powered meeting assistant. It comes into all of my meetings, whether it's Zoom, Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, et cetera. It sits in there, it transcribes and records the entire meeting, creates notes, and it even can create action items based on the instructions that you give it, where if you have meetings with clients, this happens to me all the time, I forget things, I space out. I always rely on Fireflies AI to come back after every meeting I have to look at the notes, the most important things. It even has the video recording if it's a video meeting and it transcribes it into action items. So again, if you want to have an AI powered meeting assistant to speed up the efficiency in your processes there, Fireflies AI is my recommendation. 
Now, when it comes to AI images, there's probably a hundred different free AI image generators at this point, but some of my favorite ones I list right here. So whether it's for YouTube thumbnails, featured images for blog posts, graphics on social media, uh, website design images, or even logos for your brand or company, AI image generators can be used for a lot of these use cases and more. So some of my favorite free AI image generators I've listed right here, the Microsoft Bing Image Creator, you can use this for free with a free Microsoft account. This uses Dolly 3 behind the scenes. So the same model that powers ChatGPT Plus for 20 bucks a month, you can actually use this for free in the Microsoft Bing Image Creator. Other ones include Ideogram. They had a big 2.0 update recently. Pick Lumen, which uses Flux 1. If you've never heard of Flux 1, this is the AI image model behind Grok or those uncensored images you see all over X or Twitter. Meta AI, who owns Facebook and Instagram, they're coming a long way with their AI image generation software. And also Leonardo AI, another great free option to generate high quality AI images. Now, if you want to pay for a more premium AI image model, I'd recommend looking at Adobe Firefly or also Midjourney, of course. Midjourney is still probably the top player, but I use Adobe Firefly. So Adobe Firefly just generates higher quality, more realistic AI images. I believe it's only $5 a month. So if you're in like a graphic design field or you're just a content creator, you need high quality images. I'd recommend it looking at something like Adobe Firefly. Now, last but not least, the final AI tool I want to share with you is called Riverside. Now, you might know this as a podcasting platform, but really where this shines when it comes to AI is it has all these different AI features that other podcasting platforms don't have. So, for example, you can use what's called AI voice or AI production to help clean up your edits and use AI to help you in the editing process. You can use it to generate transcriptions, captions, and show notes. You can also use what's called Magic Clips, which is similar to what Opus Clip does. Now, I think Opus Clip is higher quality. But again, you can still do this inside the Riverside platform, take a long form podcast episode, use AI with its magic clips feature to chop it up in those short form content variations. So again, just a really awesome podcast platform. I had Brad Smith on my podcast called Marketing Quacks. If you want to listen to that episode, feel free to explore, dive around, do whatever you want and check it out. But again, those are my favorite AI tools for marketing. Just going through this as quick as I can without rambling too much. Riverside, Adobe Firefly, other free AI image generators, Firefly's AI for AI-powered meeting assistant, Notebook LM for research, AI podcasts, and more, Opus Clip to chop up long-form uh, video content into short-form clips, Perplexity AI for research and AI-powered search engine, SEO writing AI for creating SEO-optimized blog posts at scale, ChatGPT Plus for a variety of different tasks, and the same with Claude Pro for a variety of different tasks. So again, I hope you enjoyed this first video of my favorite AI tools for marketing. So again, you can get this free AI marketing essentials guide by clicking the link below this video. So I appreciate you if you've made it this far, and I hope you all have a great day.